Hey, it's Jess back with another Misfit Makers Besties tutorial. Today, we're gonna show you how to use chunky glitter on a tumbler. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We upload every Wednesday and Friday, and that's the way to get notified, guys. Also, check out our Facebook group, Misfit Makers, and if you wanna take your business a little further, check out our mentorship group. Okay, so today I'm starting out, look at this pop of color. It has our label on it, it has our name on it. Oh my gosh, this is one of the pop of colors that Jerry and I designed and it came in the You Can Sit With Us box, which there are still some available on the CCDIY website. And this color is hashtag MMBX that we're using. We're starting out with a 24 ounce plump from Steel Magnolia and we wanna give her a nice base coat. I love chalk paint because it's a chalk based paint and where acrylic paint is a water-based paint, so I feel like you get really good coverage. After you get a nice base coat on there, dry that up with a heat gun, not too much heat because you can crack your paint. And next, we're gonna go in with our UV resin. UV resin is what I'm using as my adhesive to adhere our glitter. You can also use epoxy or Mod Podge, but I've been on a UV resin kick um, to, because I want to pump those tumblers out. You don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. So make sure you just like the epoxy method, about a nickel size will be enough. Okay, so I'm so excited for this next part. Ashley, sweet Ashley over at BNB Glitter put together this adorable bundle for us with three colors, Besties, which is the chunky, Misfit, which is the medium, and then like, you're like really pretty, is the fine. Oh my gosh, Ashley. These are all the same color, but they're different cuts. And if you want this bundle, she has some available still, so I will link it down below. But oh, Ashley, Thank you. This color is amazing and we can't thank you enough. So go shop her shop right now. Okay, so we're going to go in with our chunkiest and we are just going to like your like you would normally glitter a cup. Just sprinkle that stuff everywhere, okay? Like you're seasoning your great granny's potatoes, okay? Just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Cover the entire tumbler. Now I will sprinkle a little bit on the butt of my tumbler, but I don't want full coverage. Then, then I'm going to go in with my fine, you're like really pretty, and we are going to cover the butt. I promise you, you will make your life easier if you grab a fine color that's similar to your chunky that you're using and do the butt. And if you're doing a handle tumbler, do the same thing on a handle. It's just, it's hard to get the chunky glitter flat sometimes on the rims of your cup or the handles of your cup, and this will make your life so much easier. I'm also sprinkling it all over my entire tumbler just in case I have some bare spots. After you get your tumbler covered, I have some parchment paper here, and we are going to wrap our tumbler up like a burrito. Don't spread your fingers, like don't rub the cup. We are just placing that parchment paper down and slowly wrapping because our UV resin is still wet underneath. And if you were using epoxy as your adhesive, you would do the same thing. I don't want to smear it because then you will mess up your glitter and your, you know, your epoxy, but I'm just pressing that glitter down. If you have pieces of glitter that fall off, that's okay. That's what you want because any chunky pieces that are sticking out, we don't want those on our cup. I don't want to have to do nine layers of epoxy before I can decal. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. I don't want to do three coats of epoxy before my cup is smooth. So this will help you out. Next, I'm gonna take my finger and just run it alongside that rim and any extra chunky pieces that are hanging off, we're just gonna knock those away. After your chunky glitter is all flattened nicely, we're gonna stick her underneath our light. This UV light is found on Amazon and I will link it down below. And it only takes about three or four minutes. These lights are awesome. We're using these lights at all of our tour spots and I mean, people can tell you these lights will cure your neighbor's cup if you're not careful. <laughs> After you get her cured up, I then am going to go in with a coat of UV resin on top. And you don't want your UV resin dripping off your cup, but the goal is to cover 
your glitter up, okay? So you, so you want a nice, even coat. If I had to guess, I if I put my UV resin in a measuring cup, I would say we probably used close to 30 mLs of UV resin. So again, it's not cost efficient to use UV resin on every single coat, um, on every single one of your tumblers, but it does come in handy at least for the first um, as your adhesive in the first coat, just so you're able to move on to those next steps. After you get that layer of UV resin over your tumbler, then I'm going to stick her underneath our light again. And it again, it probably only takes about three or four minutes. These lights are amazing. Now I wanna clean up my rim and sand my tumbler down. It is really important to do this after every single coat. I know when you're first making tumblers, I know I did this, I never cleaned up my rims or sanded my tumbler after the first coat of epoxy. I, I was scared, I was worried that I was gonna mess my cup up. I promise you it's gonna be okay and it's gonna make your life so much easier and you're not gonna get built up epoxy or broken seals, um, I promise, every single coat. So we're sanding around our rim right now, exposing just a little bit of stainless steel underneath, and then we're gonna sand the entire tumbler. Scratch marks are okay. Once you do another coat of epoxy, they will go away, I promise you. Don't forget your bottom rim and the butt of your cup as well. So sand her all the way down. After we have a good sanding, I'm going to wipe her off with a tacket cloth. You can find those on Amazon or, or you can use a coffee filter and some alcohol. Next, I'm gonna go in with a coat of facet. Now, I know some of you are like, Jessica, why didn't you just do a coat of facet? Well, one coat of facet, one coat of epoxy with chunky glitter, my cup could or could not have some bumps still. So in two coats of facet, my cup's gonna be too thick. So that's why I did a layer of UV resin first, and then now we're gonna do a coat of facet. If you don't need to move on to the next step right away, you can just use your regular epoxy, but I wanted to move on to my next step the same day, so that's why I went in with my CCDIY facet. And we used about 30 mLs here. After you get a good coat, make sure you're using a torch to torch all those bubbles. And in about two and a half hours, we're ready to add our decal. My decal I'm using today is from Banff. I will link her down below. She has so many cute things. And this is a white clear cast decal that can go on any color. And with the pink leopard, I just thought this just caught my eye. So we're gonna place her down on our tumbler. And voila, she's so cute. After that, I went in with my final coat of epo epoxy from CCDIY, and we used about 30 mLs of our medium viscosity. Again, make sure you're using a torch to pop those bubbles. A torch is to pop bubbles, and a heat gun is to manipulate epoxy. There's a difference. After our final coat of epoxy was completely cured, I then went in and cleaned up those rims again, and voila, so cute. This glitter, look at that sparkle. I am obsessed with this. Go check out BNB Glitter right now and grab yourself the Misfit Bundle. I hope this tutorial helped, and I can't wait to see your creations. Thank you so much to all of our Patreon members, and I will catch you later, guys.